When you make roasted potatoes on Monday, what do you do with the rest of it Tuesday? Nobody wants to eat it. This is what you do. Your leftover pot roast. Nobody's gonna eat roast potatoes and carrots two days in a row. Take the old roast, separate it from the potatoes and carrots, grab a couple forks. And start shredding. When you're done, it should look something like that. All shredded up, kind of like pulled pork. It's a chunk of fat. And this is how you make homemade beef stroganoff with your leftover pot roast from the night before, because nobody wants that. Next, get yourself a skillet. Big one, I don't know what it is, 10, 12 inches, something like that. Whatever, the bigger the better. Take your roast and set it aside. Water's heating up, that's to boil the egg noodles. I prefer the Giarusa brand. Super easy to make. Leftover roast, water, noodles, and four cans of stuff here, real cheap. Hang on a second, I'll be right back. Cream of chicken times two. Cream of celery and a cream of mushroom. Well, it kind of looks like barf here, but uh, trust me, this is delicious. Way better than hamburger helper beef stroganoff. Had that last can of cream of chicken. This is a little bit thick. Stir it up, let that sit there and simmer a while. Don't cook it too fast, just squirt it to the bottom of the pan. Water's just about boiling here, ready for the noodles. Great thing about cooking, waiting. Add a little garlic salt. And pepper. Ah, we're out of pepper. Damn it. Get everything but pepper. Oop, wait a minute, what's that? Ground white pepper. Didn't know we had this. I'll try this then. It says pepper. How different could it be? You could just skip adding those spices. Use a packet of beef stroganoff. Seasoning packet, but there are none in the stores. I don't know why. Some sort of national shortage. I guess it was toilet paper. Now it's stroganoff seasoning. Stirring that once in a while until it really starts looking like barf. Then you know it's almost done. See how the noodles are done. I forgot to set a timer, so let's do a little taste test. Should be about done. Almost. Couple more minutes. I don't think it's going to take all of them. Might have a little extra butter noodles there for the kids. See, don't waste any. Throw a little butter parmesan, a little parsley in it. And there you go. Done. Super good, make this all the time with leftover roasts. Honestly, it takes maybe, all you gotta do is open the cans of stuff, dump it in a pan, take two forks, shred up the roast you had from the night before, dump it in the pan, boil water, put the noodles in, the water cooks the noodles, you sit there have a brewski or two, mix it all together, done. Girls, dinner's ready. Next time on Z Channel, we go to the mountains once again. We go right about eh, here somewhere. There.